Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're here to look at the Riverwood Hideout. This is a very tiny mod, and if you don't come and look for this, I'm not saying you won't find it, but you might be surprised at what it is. I think this is really a good idea, and I don't understand why we didn't have something like this all along. Now, there may be flaws with it, but we'll see. Just, you know, you'll have to explore it with me. All I did was find it and prove that we could get there, and I didn't really look any further. So it's the River Wood Hideout. You escaped execution. You have nothing but your life. Now you have to look for a safe shelter, right? Okay, so this is near the Riverwood Bridge, and at first, you may not even hardly see it. Let me show you. This is a t super tiny mod, under 10 kilobytes. I mean, that's small. See, this is Riverwood, and that's the hideout. So the hideout, let me switch to first person, because you'll be able to enjoy it better this way. I mean, you may not even notice this stuff at first, but it is right next to the bridge. It's right off the side here. And you just slip down here in some little concealed area, and ta-da! You have your own little hideout, which is not too bad, and it has actually quite a bit of storage. Let me turn my display of my HUD on so we can see what we're looking at. I, I apologize. I, I get used to running around with that off all the time because we're taking pictures. See, there's a chest there. Now, these do not look like the highest quality things, as you can see. But, um, did I do a reset? Maybe I needed to do a reset. These look normal. Maybe that's just the way the roots always look. But anyway, you have everything you need. You have little satchels. You have the enchanter and the little alchemy lab. You have little chests for them. A couple of barrels in case you need those for anything. You have a smelter. And you have a couple of chests here. Let's see, is there anything missing? You have the workbench. You have the grindstone. And you have the, the rack. You have an anvil, you have two more chests. Uh, just really, it's so funny, in this little bitty mod, in this little bitty spot, they carved out. Huh, and the smelter's got his little thing there. You can, you have everything you need right here. This could be your hideout for all time. I mean, and it even has a lantern. It even has a lantern. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I've seen, you know, the original Breeze Home doesn't have all this stuff. Yes, this has some little anomalies like this little limb and a few things. The roots could be cleaned up a little bit better, but nonetheless, overall, I think this is great. <laughs> I may keep this for uh, for my random starts so that I always have some little home to go to. Or if it's not a home, I at least have some place, some little shelter. This is great. I mean, it's not beautiful or wonderful, but it gives you storage. And it gives you a place to do your crafting. And as far as I know, you're not going to be attacked here. There's nothing here to attack you. So... And they even decorate it with a few bugs in a jar, which is cool. It was, a nice, it was a nice little touch to add that. So, I mean, there's not anything else to show. I mean, look, there's your cook pot. And again, there's bags and chests. What are the bags? Oh, it's got cabbage in it, so you could start with the cabbage and the salt pile. There you go. But, um... There, there's sacks if you want to put leather and stuff in them. I mean, everything you might want and need for storage and different things is here. And it's all in basically one room. This is like the, uh, what would you call it? The efficiency of Skyrim. Or um, I used to live in one of these. What did they call it? It was just a one room apartment is all it was. And it had a little bit of everything in it. 
was it studio? Is that what you call it? It's been a long time, but I used to live in one a long time ago. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is all you need to get you started in this game. This is great. Um, I may have to keep this. This is one of those little bitty mods that's like, unless it bothers something. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to probably add this to my wife's game too, so she'll have a place to start. And she won't have to own Breeze Home if she doesn't want to. That's very cool. Alright, alright. So I'm overly impressed with this tiny mod. But, and it's hidden too. So you feel like you're in a secret place like the Batman lair. You know, the Batcave. This would be your, your Dragonborn cave. Um, but, yeah. This was a good idea. It's in a good place. Because if you start the game fairly normally at all. And even if you don't, they've got a marker. You can travel right here and make it your little home. So this was really a very good idea. The Riverwood Hideout. So tiny. This Croissants 77. This was an excellent little idea. Uh, I'm gonna. Keep, I think I'm gonna try to keep this. It may be, you know, for shows. I don't think it'll get in the way. But then too, I'm gonna put it in my other playthrough game because this is this is perfect if I want to start the game normally or even abnormally and I just want a little hideout because I don't want to own any of the homes so yeah yeah that's that is a great thing I really like it so um, you may or may not be as impressed you may have other things that you've seen that do similar but but this is really kind of fun it's the Riverwood hideout it's less than 10 kilobytes I mean it's super tiny but it has everything you need. So, you know, if you're interested, give it a whirl. This would be a good hideout in any number of ways, no matter how you think of it. It would still be a good hideout. So, all right. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, and you never know when you're going to find a little gem like this that's just so cool and it has such a good idea. So, yeah, thanks for watching and you have a good day. I'll catch you later.